Okay, hi everyone, I'm Lieutenant Hummus, and this is my proof of concept video for what I'm calling uh, tournament mode. So you'll see why it's called that in a second. Before I get started, I just want to say that this is a proof of concept video. This is super early work in progress. I am not the developer of the game. Um, they didn't tell me to do this. I just kind of did this on my own um, with some reverse engineering and some time. So uh, I'll go into free play. I'll just go generate a bomb that looks kind of like, uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. That looks kind of like I am hardcore, right? So five minutes, 11, blah, blah, blah. So over here on the left side of the screen, as I say, as I'm pointing, is uh, the game's log file. So you can just kind of see what it's doing and this updating uh, randomly, or not updating randomly, it's just uh, writing to the stream. You can see my little hello from uh, stuff. So if we scroll up in the log file, uh, when the bomb gets randomly generated, it gets randomly generated using a seed number. Uh, so if you were to be able to use that same seed number over and over again, we could generate that same bomb over and over again. So say for a tournament, if you wanted everybody to have the exact same bomb, uh, we can do that. So uh, here's the bomb. So this is a randomly generated seed. So I'm just gonna kind of cut some wires. So I know I cut that, I know I cut that, I know I cut that. Uh, yeah, we'll vent the gas. Um, I don't have the manual memorized like some other people. So we'll just, I saw in the log that uh, the word is stake. So that's 582 if I remember correctly. We'll just solve a couple things. Um, let's see, this word is T H E I R. This, whoops, ah, so hard to control in the small window. Uh, let's see, T H R 3. Yeah, um, so you can see, you know, the maze indicators here in the corner. Um, I am at 3-3, three, three, I'm here, and then the target's kind of at the bottom. Uh, for who's on first, the display here is blank, or like literally blank. And then we have ready, left, uh, yes, middle, uh, three H's, and wait. I'll go ahead and vent the gas again. Uh, these are the symbols we have. This is um, the uh, memory we have. Okay, so we'll, we'll quit out. Okay, so now this is where the magic happens. So this is the seed that was used for the last bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. I'm gonna paste it in this text file and I'm gonna save it as c.txt in my keep talking and nobody explodes um, directory. So I'll go back, I'll turn uh, real time logging back on. We'll go back into free, free play. We'll generate the seed again, or sorry, we'll generate the bomb again. And when the lights turn on, you can see we have the exact same bomb, even so much as to um, T H E. Oh, it's T G I R. I should remember that because we just we just did it. So there, we remember this one's three. Uh, whoops, T H R. E, e. Um, let's go vent the gas. We remember we have these again. These were the uh, wires I had to cut. So I didn't show the serial number, I guess, but um, all of the side mod or the side widgets, as they're called, are all the same. Like the serial number is the same. All the lit, unlit indicators, the ports are all the same. You see, we have the same um, uh, symbols. Simon codes flashing, or Simon says is flashing the same uh, um, color. Memory has exactly the same. Uh, we know this was stake from last time, 582. We have the same who's on first, uh, the bl uh, literally empty display, ready, left, yes, middle, uh, three H's, and wait. Uh, the first page of, excuse me, do I have to, do, yeah, I have to vent the gas again. <laughs> we have the you know same needy module, and we have uh, the same, uh, what do you call it? Uh, wire sequences to do. So as long as this seed number in that text file over there is the same, we will keep generating the same bomb as long as this depends on a few things. It depends on in the menu, if you go to accessibility, um, these all have to be the same. And then of course your generator settings have to be the same. Uh, so, you know, 11 minutes, needy, hardcore. 
I actually don't know. Let's see. Actually, I didn't test if a different time will change the uh, the uh, layout of the bomb. I didn't test. We're going to see this live during the recording. Oh, no, it doesn't. It just changes the, uh, the amount of time. All the generation is handled separately. So there you go. We can see exact same stuff. Cut that. Don't cut that. Don't cut that. Same sort of thing going on. Morse code. All of this is the same. We have the parallel port down there. SND, SIG. Serial number is all the same. So we can essentially generate uh, repeatable bombs. And we can do the same bomb over and over and over again for tournaments. Um, if the file is missing or the file has just kind of gibberish in it. Um, actually, let me scroll up first before I show that. So if you look at the log file, we can see where the bomb gets generated. Um, using forced seed. I put this logging message in here so you know that that's there. Using forced seed and then there's our seed. Um, and then, yeah, hello from Lieutenant Hummus. This is from another, you know, just proof of con proofs of concept all around. Um, okay, so if I change the seed to say 8474 and I generate a new bomb. Oh no. Oh, did I not save it? I don't think I saved the file. Yeah, there we go. Let's save the file this time, huh? Oh, turn on uh, real time. I saw the, the word steak. I was like, oh man. There we go. Now we have a different bomb. So if we scroll up, you can see using using four seed eight four seven four, and this is the bomb we end up with. Ooh, it's a doozy too. Um, the one thing I don't have is you can't like generate specific bombs. You can't say like I want a bomb with you know three memories and two Morse codes and and all that. You have to uh, given a seed we can generate the same bomb over and over again. But I can't say like oh here's the bomb you want. Well, here's the seed you need, or given a bomb that you want, here's the uh, seed that you have to do. So, unfortunately, um, we can't do that. But that's okay. Um, if, let's see, so I'll exit out of the bomb real quick. If the file is missing or just kind of has gibberish, like if it doesn't have uh, an actual number in it, make sure I save it. We'll go regenerate the bomb. Turn on real time logging again. We will actually legitimately just generate uh, random things. So you can see here it says, instead of using the force seed, you can see it says uh, generating random seed. So that's it. That's a tournament uh, mode in a nutshell. And in fact, we can just take that seed again. Let's go copy and paste it, shall we? So I believe, yeah, there we go, generating random seed. So we'll copy that, paste it into our file. Oops. Go ahead and save it. Turn on real-time logging again. Just blow ourselves up. And then we'll retry. And of course, if we go back and scroll up, we are using the four seed and we have the exact same bomb. So that's it, that's tournament mode. I'm not quite sure how I want to release it yet. Um, because it involves basically a, a couple patch files. I don't want to, you know, distribute all of the files because technically they're under copyright of Steel Crate Games. So I haven't decided um, how I want to distribute this. Um, I also have a few concerns about it. Like, for example, um, you know, anybody who's making a world record video, they could just pre-figure out how to solve the bomb and then they could, you know, just generate the bomb that they know. So I'm not quite sure how I want to deal with that just yet. So that's kind of an unsolved thing because I really enjoy, you know, I really enjoy the competitive as aspect of this game. Um, I think it's really cool that people, you know, doing world uh, records. So 
um, I don't want to quite ruin that. So I haven't quite decided how to release it or what to do. Um, if any of you have any opinions, please let me know. Uh, special thanks to Encorte for long discussions on reverse engineering, keep talking and nobody explodes, um, for, a gotten, a, for a forgotten tune and for Wodar, for moral support and voice chat and listening to me swear really loudly while I try to get uh, this to work. Thanks for watching.